Wow, image J running on my phone. Can you see that? There was a while ago when image J would run in a browser, but I noticed recently that it's back, the browser version of image J. So I thought, let's have a look at it. Um, I haven't tried it, but let's just do an evaluation of image J on a browser and see what we think. Okay, so what I might do is um, have a look at Image J uh, running in a browser. I haven't tried this before. I thought I would um, give you, let you see my, my first impressions of it. So let's just run it and see what happens. The only thing I've done so far is I've, I've checked that it actually runs, but I haven't, um, I haven't looked at any images in it yet. It takes a wee while to load. Um, okay, so I've got some way of putting in plugins. How many plugins? Well, I see I don't have a lot of plugins to begin with. It's got all the and then the analysis stuff in where I'd expect and the tools are in the right place. Yeah, I've got scale bars and calibration bars, that's good. Um uh, smooths and sharpens good, a few filters, a the binary stuff, the FFTs, that full set of filters there, that's good. The image calculator, a subtract background. Yep, does all the image types. Um, yep, all the adjustments you'd expect. This looks like a fairly full version of Image J. Stack stuff, yeah, on the tools down here for the stacks. Make sub stacks, is that there? Yes. Removing slices. Um, yeah, it all looks good. Oh, lookup tables. How many lookup tables have we got? Where's the lookup tables? Da, da, da. Oh, oh lookup tables, there we go. That was, looks like a slightly smaller, a slightly smaller set, but uh, yeah, it's okay. All right, let's just open some of the, okay, okay, I've got some samples. Uh, oh, there's a confocal series. Oh, let's look at that. So, okay, it looks like, yeah, it looks like two channels, Z series. It's not too bad. It's fairly responsive, a wee bit slow. Um, what have we got? 25 sections there. Let's just um, split split them out. Ah, okay, so the, the menu, the menus run behind the image. Okay, um, so let me do uh, stacks, I want to split the channels, yeah, there we go, split channels, okay, it's good, so I got my green channel, red channel, maybe, um, what do you think, maybe sharpen them? Yeah, let's sharpen both of them. Oh, yeah, that's going to get annoying, isn't it? You'd want the one. You'd want the. Oh, maybe you can move this, I suppose. Yeah, you you kind of want the the menus to pop over the window, I suppose. All right, can't complain. Uh, sharpen all twenty five images. Yes. Oh, it's a bit, oh, it's not ideal, is there an undo, oh, there's an undo. Oh. The undo doesn't seem to undo, so, well that's good, that means it's just like every other copy of Image J I've ever used. I'll always stick with it. Oh, keep, hmm. so that, this would get annoying. Um, yeah, let's is there a different sharpen? Mm. Let's just try a little blur on on that one. Oh, it's got a preview. That's good. Um, 
Maybe do maybe do one. Yep, we'll do all twenty five frames. Did it do it? I'm not sure that I noticed much of a difference there. Alright. Never mind. Um what else could we do? Uh oh we could try well, let me duplicate them. <laughs> Let me duplicate the one of these and then maybe try some thresholding and segmentation. So let's do, well, I'm going to change the lookup table first. Oops. Yeah, I get a little bit, it takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah, it looks nicer in grayscale, doesn't it? Uh, oops. Let's, um, yeah, let's duplicate that data set. Yeah, duplicate the whole stack. Okay, good, right, I'll keep that as a little spare in case I mess up. So let's see what the thresholding's like. Uh, adjust threshold, yep, there we go. Mm, it's good, okay. So well, let's do it with a dark background. Oh yeah, you can see that the, <clears throat> the, the low pass or the Gaussian filter has definitely taken effect there. I mean, it's not, not too bad. It's, yeah, it looks like all pretty much of the the usual set of filters. Uh, sorry, of um, templates or whatever you call them for for thresholding. Okay, well let's um, let's go with that. We'll apply that. Calculate the threshold for each image. Uh, yeah, okay. Alrighty, that's not too bad. Oh, let's do. It's annoying, isn't it? That menu thing. Maybe there's maybe there's a way to fix this in the. Is there a preferences? I don't know. Um. Uh, what we're we gonna do? Um. Oh yeah, measure. Oh, that's annoying. Um, so we're we'll gonna set the measurements. Oh, let's just analyze particles. Um, yeah, we don't want anything that's too small. Uh, the display the results. Yeah, let's display the results. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Can I oh, use this to scroll through the images, through the data? And then is there an output? Yeah, save as. Yeah, there's a CSV file. Okay, so you could get that into um, into Excel. <coughs> I would like to have seen the labels. Maybe I didn't. I don't save. Let me uh, analyze particles again. And oh, let's just get everything. Yeah, summarize. I'd like to so display objects. That's what I was looking for. Oh, outlines. That's what I want. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Process all 25, yeah. Okay, let's see now. Ah, okay. Yeah, so now I've got my individual objects with numbers on them. Um, this object, that looks six. Okay, that looks quite nice. Well, the summary of the data. Yeah, this is good, yeah. Apart from that menu thing. Um, Oh, well, we've got the binary stuff up. Uh, let's look at the binary, if there's a binary filters. Uh, let's process um, binary. Yeah, let's do some erosions. Um, process all 25, yep. Okay, yep, so a nice little erosion there. Let's find some place with small segments. That would do. Let's try dilating that. 
um, process binary, delete process binary, delete, do them all. Yep, a little dilation. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's just don't want to spend too long here. Um, let me, oh, what's happening here? Let me uh, get an FFT of that. Oh, keep forgetting. Let's get a standard FFT. Nice, that was quick. Oofed. And then a lookup table of that, maybe a spectrum. Yep. Oh, that was lovely. Uh, now, is there a 3D? Oh, no, let's do a Z series. Um, sorry, not a Z series, a Z projection. Let's see how that looks. Images, stacks, Z project. Uh, let's do a standard deviation, it's quite like them. That's nice. So, there's the Z series and there's the Z projection of that. Um, stacks. Let's just do a yeah. Let's do a brightness around the x-axis. Um, would slice space in point six. Yeah, okay. Three hundred. Let's just do a ninety degree. Rock backwards and forwards, just for quickness. Interpolate, you know, I know it. See how quickly it does that. See how it's 8, now 10. That's not too bad. Clearly the data is a little bit stretched, so you know, we maybe want to go into the image properties. And maybe... Uh, I don't even know what the data set here is, but that'll look to be a bit stretched to me, so let's maybe make it 0 0.3, shall we? And then do the maximum intensity Z projecting. Oh, there, slice space. Oh, it's got slice space. I could have put it in there. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? Quite nice. And finally, is there volume viewer? No, I don't. That's a pity. So it doesn't look as if there's a 3D, a 3D volume. Uh, um, well, maybe it's in there somewhere. <coughs> Got a meeting I need to go to, so I should really wrap this one up here. I only wanted a quick 10 minute look at this anyway. Uh, overall, yeah, I'm pretty impressed actually. Um, it runs in a browser. It absolutely runs in a browser. Um, I'm going to check it on my phone and on my iPad and see how it looks. And see you next time.